Hi everyone, Terry from Terry Scrapbooks. This is my last guest design team project for Renee Bouquets. It's a mini album I made using Prima's debutante papers. These are so much fun to use. They have so many embellishments. I used tons of them in here and I still have a lot left. Okay, well this frame with the pin inside, I saw this I don't know how long ago on another seller on eBay, Two Dogs Tony had done it on one of her albums and I always wanted to do it. So I thought this was a perfect time to do it because Renee Bouquets has these gorgeous, gorgeous pins. So you I bought the frame from Hobby Lobby and fixed it so the pin fits in the middle. This is a Renee Bouquets fabric flower. These I got from Recollections, these flowers, Prima Mulberry flowers. This is a Prima flower. These, I used all the feathers that came with the chipboard die cuts in the collection. This is a trim from Renee Bouquets, these butterflies. It's a beautiful peachy color, peachy pink. This is another trim layered under here, pink. On the spine, more Renee Bouquet's flowers, the rosette trim, the back is plain. And we open it up. This is a Spellbinders die, radiant rectangles. I make a frame with it. make it so you can slip out the this paper so you can cut your picture to fit and slide it back in. This is Renee Bouquet's one of her gorgeous butterflies. The pink goes perfectly with this paper collection. Chipboard. This is Fussy Cut. This is one of the tags from the collection. I glued on a chipboard piece and stick it down behind here. Prima Clock. And this page, more fussy cutting. Oh, I have these new dies I've been using. Die Namics from MFT Stamps. Little tiny mini delicate doilies. So I used a lot of those. And I used a some cut some from Cartabella small dies and this spell binders also doily type die it's shape abilities pendants eyelets so they're kind of layered in everywhere okay I made up since this paper collection reminds me so much of Jane Austen I found some quotes and I printed them up on the paper. This says, Indulge your imagination in every possible flight by Jane. So it's a little tag. So photo mat comes out from here. Four by six. This is a photo mat. You can stick your pictures in behind here. like this. One Cannot Have Too Large a Party by Jane Austen from Emma. It's a big tag or a photo mat. Place to put pictures, journaling. It's another photo mat. This trinket comes from Naval K's. So pretty, isn't it? And there's one of those doily die cuts. Well, this 
is the Martha Stewart punch. This is a waterfall. This is a Seven Gypsies paper clip. This opens. Oh, I didn't cover that. I'll have to do that. You can take this out, of course. Just a little tag. This is, comes from the collection. And that's a doily. This book, I forgot to mention in the beginning, is actually a gift for my friend Phyllis from Scrapbooking by Phyllis. She has her own YouTube channel. You should go look at it. She's also a design team member from Renee Bouquets and she makes gorgeous layouts. She does a lot of layout tutorials on her YouTube channel. But she gave me that doily and that's what reminded me of that I forgot to mention her. Uh, this is a vintage hanky that I picked because it was so pretty and the color matched perfectly. And I just put some tool under there to pop it up a little. I, I've been stamping. Jane Austen was a writer, so I stamped script here and there and I put a little on the dress. This is a Tim Holtz pin. This is a chipboard sewing spool that I painted and stamped. This is another one of the trinket pieces you can get from Renee Bouquets. See how much cute, 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 cute chipboard from the Prima collection. This back, back here, is this Spellbinders die, Luscious Labels 1. And this page opens like this. So doily here, and some fussy cutting, another tag. Two four by four photo mats, and another tag that I printed. An artist cannot do anything slovenly, Jane Austen. That's for Phyllis because she's an artist. This is a another trinket from Renobi Case, but I made it into a buckle. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but that's what I did. It comes comes like this. Maybe it's just a slide. And then I folded the ribbon over like this and then just made the end a point so you can slide it through like this, but we'll leave it open. So here's more of those Spellbinders dies. Another waterfall. You can have pictures here or these. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. From sense and sensibility. And the last page has a paper clip. Looks like musical notes with a lace on top. You can slide another picture in here. Place for a photo, place for a photo, another tag. Perhaps it is our imperfections that make us perfect for one another. Jane Austen. And this is a Prima resin piece that I painted and stamped. And here's the last page. It's just a pocket. It's got what wild imaginations one forms where dear self is concerned. How sure to be mistaken. And this was fussy cut out of the papers. And I stuck that on the back. Two photo mats.
fussy cutting chipboard. This is a wood piece from the wood pieces of the collection. Prima frame I painted to match the pink. This album can hold 39 photos. Thanks so much for watching.